Hey guys, it's Fox here with another video, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode, we took down a fairly simple... Well, it was a complicated design of a Colossus, but that doesn't really matter. Because this is a walkthrough, and you guys don't care about the design, but I do, and you're watching my walkthrough, so there you go. You're gonna care about the design. Anyway, this episode, we're going to be taking down what used to be one of my favorite Colossi. Ow, I just hit my mic. Um, and it still is one of my favorites. It's not my all-time favorite yet. Um, it was for a while, though. Now I have... Now my favorite's one that's a bit later on. Uh, however, this one is still probably my second favorite. And I forgot actually how to get to him, so... Oh. Did you see what I... I, I literally just went in a completely 360 circle trying to find that. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Anyway. This is the place that I was heading to. Oh no, it wasn't. Wait. Isn't this where we went for the horse? For Phaedra? Or is it over here? Oh god. Okay, let me just. If you haven't noticed already, when you're watching this series, I'm terrible at finding the Colossi. So, yeah. Um, especially later on, it just gets. I just. I'm not great at it. I'm coming over here because I'm interested in these pillars here. Um, I don't actually... Oh, it's just a bridge. Oh. That's boring. Okay, never mind. Let's come over here. Alright, it... Here we go. It's this way. That makes more sense. Yeah, sometimes that, uh, that beam of light can be... I did not realize that there was a giant chasm there. Uh, sometimes the beam of light can be a bit misleading because it points in the general direction, but there can be several, like, uh, passages in that direction. So you need to make sure to find the right one. That's kind of what happened uh, at the beginning of last episode when it threw me off just a bit. Um, I'm looking around these trees. I don't think they have any fruit on it, but there is a tree in the distance I see that does have quite a bit of fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and um, stop by that one. It is just a little bit out of the way from our path, but that's alright, because there is actually quite a bit of fruit there, which is, of course, all good. And my horse is stuck on a rock. There we go. Good job. Oh my... I don't know what's wrong with my horse. Oh, whatever. Alright, here's actually a shrine of worship. Let me see if I can find a white-tailed lizard here, so we can get some extra stamina. Well, I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to find one. They're not that difficult to find. It's just more of the uh, catching aspect. And right when I say they're not difficult to find, I can't find it. Alright, let's climb up here. Get a closer look. There we go. Um... Is there even one here? They're not at all of the. Whoa! What? Oh, there it is! Ah! Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. I found it. There it is, there it is. Alright, let's do this. Watch this, watch this. Right there. BAM! Oh yeah! Give me your tail. Though I didn't actually hit the. Uh, well, you know what? Whatever. I'm just falling down. All right, come on, Agro. Let's go. Anyway, let's head to the tree now, which is over there, in the center of the screen. All right, you, want, you stopped a bit behind, but that's all right. It's a very nice view here, isn't it? Of the Great Bridge. Where's the cat? Oh, there's the castle. There's some normal black tail lizards there. Again, they're not really useful for anything. Apparently, Team Ico was a bit racist, but that's alright. I'm just kidding. Alright. Like I said, lots of fruit here. Ouch. Did not mean to do that. 
What did I say? Oh, uh, never mind. And, uh, I believe... Oh, yep, there's more over here. Alright, very good. And this should actually increase our health quite a bit, because look at all this stuff. Alright, and there are a couple on this tree. And that should be it. Very good. What's he doing? So, you know, sometimes I wonder about this horse. He just kind of wanders off on his own, and I don't know what he does. But that's okay. He's still my horse. My little derp horse. Alright, so here we have some water. So, we're gonna just leave the horse down there, because horses don't really swim. Well, I guess they could, but... My horse doesn't swim because he's a derp horse. And all positive intentions, of course. He's still kind of derp, though. And there's a freaking jumping in the water, which I don't understand how that actually works, but... Whatever. Once again, Nintendo logic that is not actually Nintendo because it's Team Ico. Anyway, let's just dive under here. Even though it looks like we can swim without diving, we do have to dive to get under that debris. And let's just climb up this tower, simple enough. Alright. So if you haven't already noticed, we're actually at a lake and once we come up here we'll have a much better view That is Avion. And I love this song, by the way. This is a really nice, passive song. Um, yeah, Avion is a bird, and Avion is actually Spanish for plane, if you didn't know that. I know because I know minor Spanish, so yeah. I feel special because I can translate that. <laughs> Such a basic word, though. Anyway, um, yes, Avion. So, like I said, he was uh, originally my favorite Colossus, and he is still one of my favorites. I, I really love how... I, I really love the battle, and I really like his design as well. Uh, once we actually get on him, though, I'll talk more about the design, but it's really cool how... Because he's a bird, and birds, of course, you know, flow when they fly. They're very flowing animals. However... Even though the Colossus is supposed to be made out of, you know, rock and stone, they still give it that rock and stone feeling, but also a flowing feeling, which is really interesting. Anyway, what we're going to do is get on one of these low platforms. You may think you want to get on one of these towers, since he has a flying thing, but he actually don't. So you do want to get on one of these lower platforms. And, let's see, we don't need that much of an arc. Let's just kind of shoot right there. Once you shoot him, he's going to try to come after you because he doesn't like being shot with arrows. He's going to do this, and you want to jump and grab on to his wing. Yeah, wasn't that pretty epic? Well, this is pretty epic, too. All right, so you're going to wait for his wings to flatten out, and he has three weak spots. We couldn't really tell before because he was too far away, but he has two on his wings and one on his tail, uh, the tip of his wings to be exact. Anyway, uh, let's head actually for the tail first. 
let's hopefully not fall off. Alright. I wasn't directly on it, but we still got the damage, so that's good. Oh, and it's gone. Oh no, it's not actually. Well, now it's gone. Anyway. Alright, you need to make sure your finger is on R1 because you're going to have to make emergency grabs like I just did when he turns. So, be really, really cautious about when to hold on. So, if you look at his wings, it kind of... That's what I was talking about. I mean, it's, it's flowing like a bird, but it's just... It still looks kind of like rock, which is, I don't know, I just think it's a really cool design. Alright, let's... No! no not do that. I'm gonna wait for him to flatten out. So once again, he has one uh, major sigil on each of his wings. So once we do that... Now this rock here is meant to give you trouble, since you can't actually grab onto it. So that's a really... Uh, vulnerable spot for you, because if he makes any minor movement, you can easily fall off. Now, when you're upside down like that, it's probably obvious, but you want to hold on. It looks like it was just actually one hit on that sigil. Let's take it out, so now we need to head for the other one. Just hold on and hope I don't run out of stamina. Ooh, that was close. Bad position to be in. This is not great. I don't like this. No, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> well then, I was so close. But apparently not close enough. Thanks very much. Alright, um, we want to just do the exact same thing that we did before. I believe this one's closer than that one, so let's head over here. And once once you fall off him, he's just going to head back to that tall pillar where he was on originally. Now, sometimes he'll just continue to fly around. And I think he will, actually. I don't think he'll go back. Once you've damaged him enough... He's still going to be on edge even if you fall off, so he's still going to try to just uh, kind of patrol around until he can see you in a weak position, being on one of these platforms here, and he should just dive without you even aggravating him, though I will go ahead and try to shoot him just to speed up the process. Oh, in fact, I was actually wrong. He did go over there. Well, he's working on it, I think. Or not. Okay. Yeah, he is coming over here. Alright. There we go. So, we hit him twice. We only hit him once, but he's going to turn around and then come up and try to swoop us, if that's the word. Well, he's supposed to. Try this again. Oh crap. Okay, well that works. And we're actually on the wing I wanted to be on. Yay. Alright. No, I'm in the same freaking position as last time. Okay, good, good, good. Let's do this. There we go.
Even though he's like super far away, you can still see all that stuff rushing towards us. It's actually kind of creepy. I'm trying to swim away from it. Ah! 